Yo, this is Jonathan, aka Dolo2TV, but nowadays I like to be referred to as Dolo Tupac. And let me tell you guys something, I'm the biggest Tupac fan, and the reason why is because I love his music and I love the stories that he tells behind this music. I'm the biggest Pac fan, and the reason why is because I went all out for this. First of all, I went bald for this. Second of all, I got my nose pierced, and then on top of that, if that was enough, I also got my tattoos all over. I got a few more to go, but you know, Machiavelli. Anyways, being that I'm the biggest Tupac fan, I of course got excited when I heard the movie coming out, All Eyes on Me, a Tupac biopic. In all honesty, I don't even think the guy in the movie should have played Tupac. I should have. I mean, look at me. I went all out for this role, okay? But hey, who knows? I might be in the sequel. <laughs> Jesse and I'm coming to you live from Green Acres Park. I'm about to interview the biggest Tupac fan in release of the upcoming movie, All Eyes on Me. Well, thank you for taking the time to interview with me, Mr. Jolo Tupac. So, Mr. Jolo Tupac, you claim to be the biggest Tupac fan. We're here to test that. We don't have nothing to worry about because I know Pac better than I even know myself. So we're gonna go ahead and start with something easy. What is Tupac's birth name? <laughs> this is easy. Tupac Shakur. <laughs> he was actually born Lesane Parish Crooks and was later named Tupac Amaru Shakur. Man, I was still right because he eventually became that. Next question. All right, well, moving on to the next one. Tell me what coast was Tupac from and tell me what coast do you represent? Man, this is easy. West side, do or die west side. That's where Pac was from and that's what I represent. Man, bump the east coast, bump New York, and you know what, bump Binky too while we're at it, okay? Oh, I regret to inform you that Tupac was actually born and raised in Harlem, New York. Nah, 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 now I know you're just tricking me. Th think about the song, think about the song, you know what song I'm talking about. California, mm, mm, mm. no sad party, mm, mm, mm. He pit rocket. You know what I'm talking about. You know I don't have to sing the song. Come on, next question. I regret to inform you though, sir. This is research and facts. All right, all right. Let's go. Next one. Next one. Next one. Come on, come on. All right, Mr. Jolo Tupac. Um, I have another question for you. Hi. What was the name of Tupac's fiance? That's a trick question. Ha! I got you. Tupac made another song about that. He said, "The underground don't stop for hoes. I get around." Ba 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Let's go. Come Actually, on. sir, he was engaged to a woman named Kadada Jones. <laughs> what else are you gonna ask me about? All right, let me ask you another simple question. How many movies was he in? What do you mean he was acting in movies? He was an actor too? Well, yeah, I thought you were the biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it! No. Well, seeing that you didn't know some of the most obvious things about Tupac, did you know that he's no longer with us? He's not alive? You know what, lady? That's enough. I only got through a few of my interview questions, sir. I didn't even ask about the Black Panther movement, how many albums he made, and the fact that he was a highly educated man or a poet. So let me ask you one more question. When did you really become a Tupac fan? <laughs> After the All Eyes on Me trailer came out. That's what I thought. Plus you were born in what, 1997? <laughs> Just another fake Tupac fan joining the bandwagon. This has been Sally Jesse Live in Green Acres Park. Back to you, Phil. For my homies. This one for Dre. This one for Pac. A little bit for B, because I do got love for B. 